Um, and lastly, a small part of the pie, but a necessary part of the pie, is sustainably fueling planes and boats. Um, shipping accounts for 3% of global CO2. It's ripe for electrification. Even with lithium iron phosphate, long haul ships can be fully battery powered. So that's a, a great opportunity to uh, electrify. Um, energy density is a little bit harder for planes, but short haul is doable today. With some improvements, we'll get long haul underway. But even, even in the meantime, we can leverage sustainable aviation fuels produced and stored using excess renewable electricity. There's a lot of work going on in this space. Um, and it's, it's, it's not, yeah. Yeah, I mean, it, it, to, to really get uh, long range aircraft and um, long range shipping to use uh, lithium ion, uh, you need to redesign the ship and not just. Um, or the plane. And the plane. Uh, to take advantage of the fact that it is a new uh, source of uh, energy. It's, it's, a, it's a different architecture. So. You, you, just like with an electric car, you wouldn't just you know take a gasoline car and stick a battery in it. That's very suboptimal. Um, it's much uh, more efficient to have the battery be the structure of the car, um, and uh, you know it, make it as make it mass efficient and optimized for battery, for batteries. The same if if that's done with aircraft, uh, I think you can get long range aircraft uh, at around with with cells at around 450 watt hours per kilogram which you can buy it right now, actually. It's expensive, but I think uh, th that price will come down. So when we stack up all of these efforts, uh, we end up with the numbers we shared at the beginning of the presentation. 30 terawatts, 240 terawatt hours, $10 trillion. And you're, you may be saying, like, I need some context. Is this feasible? Spoiler alert, it's entirely feasible. 